Hello and welcome to another tasting uh, with your favorite wine enthusiast, aficionado, all around just wine nerd. Let's go try it out. What do we have today? We have the Joseph Druin Beaujolais Village 2013. Pick this up at Total Wine for fourteen dollars, fourteen ninety nine. So yeah, this is a great wine from the southern part of Burgundy in France. Um, Burgundy, pretty premier appellation for known primarily for Pinot Noir, but also some great uh, Chardonnays as well. So Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. This is actually. From the southern part of Burgundy in uh, Beaujolais, uh, that does Gamay, pretty much a hundred percent Gamay coming uh, out of this region. Um, I've read a little bit of Chardonnay, but all I've ever seen is Gamay. Um, probably the most famous of the Beaujolais is the Beaujolais Nouveau. Comes out the third Thursday in November. Uh, hundred percent carbonic macerated wine. Um, has a really youthful bubble gum. I get a lot of juicy fruit and banana leaf and cooked a little like bananas fosters quality. A very bright and um, youthful wine. Uh, this is made in a different style. Um, much older wine meant to be consumed uh, with a little bit more age on it. Um, yeah, and let's try it out. So, um, you can tell just by starting off that this is definitely going to be um, a lighter bodied wine, um, very similar to Pinot Noir in its body and the amount of tannins. Um, definitely got a medium minus the light intensity and in color. Got a garnet with a pale rim. Um, no signs of any oak aging or any faults in the wine. No apparent faults. The nose. I initially get kind of a cranberry, a dried cranberry, maybe a craisin. A lot of high tone red fruit. A little bit of granite, a little dry granite um, on the palate. Medium plus in acidity. Medium to medium plus in acidity. Um, kind of reinforces some of those red fruit notes on the on the nose. Uh, a little more of a citrus, maybe a citrus pith quality to it. Definitely a, a, a fleshiness, almost like a red apple flesh, red apple scare. Medium tannin, fair amount of tannin for this style one. Um, yeah, a little bit of faint, faint tea leaf quality to it. Um, unsweetened cranberry juice. Um, yeah, bright. A little bit of that minerality in a form of like a granite, like a like a darker minerality, darker quality to it. Um, great food wine. Um, the amount of acid and slight body, relatively light tannins, um, make this a great food pairing wine. Um, 
pretty versatile, probably one of the most versatile, versatile styles of wine I could see out there. For a lot of individuals that always ask that question, what red wines can I pair with fish? I think this would definitely be uh, in contention with one of uh, a wine that would pair well with with fish. I could see this with a, a seared salmon salad. I could see this with, um, I can even see this with a, uh, a seared tuna or ahi tartare. I think it could actually hold up well to those um, as long as it's lightly um, seasoned and not overly spiced. Um, but yeah, great wine, great food wine, great wine by itself. I definitely would recommend this, especially for the price um, and just because it's something a little different. So once again, we have tasted the Joseph Druin Beaujolais Village 2013. Retails for around $15. Um, comes in at 12.5% alcohol. It is from Burgundy. Um, from the southern part of Burgundy and definitely a great value in comparison to uh, other regions in Burgundy which uh, tend to have a bit more uh, tend to be more a bit more expensive and have a little bit more notoriety but arguably um, these wines could be just as great and thank you again and we look forward to doing our next one and uh, until then happy drinking and sorry about that table shake. <laughs>